Paddington returns to his home in the greatly anticipated Paddington in Peru among fans. But does it live up to the previous movie's charm and wonderment? As we've discussed, Paddington returns to Peru after receiving a letter from the home of retired bears saying Aunt Lucy is not herself. The movie starts off in London, of course, with the Browns family and all the side characters, which, yeah, I was kind of feeling it at that point. However, after noticing something wasn't quite right here, brings us to our first point of disappointment, in the fact that Sally Hawkins, unfortunately, doesn't return here as Mrs. Brown. And after looking it up, doesn't really want to partake in this any longer. Now, I understand that is not the movie's fault. Or oh, is it? At least write it out of the story though, somehow. Don't just casually act like nothing weird happened here. I think the Browns family may need a bit of a brain assessment because they're all just casually like, yeah, yeah, this is my wife, this is mother. And it is just so clearly a different woman. I just couldn't buy it as reality here. Yes, I know, I know. This is a movie with a talking bear who has a British accent. I get it. But Sally was an absolute fundamental part of these films, and it was just so strange to see. Emily Mortimer tried, and it's not her fault. The other returning cast are all fine, and Mr. Brown is now trying to embrace the risk, which is a rather extreme 180, but okay, fine. We just don't get enough of what made the others so great. Paddington's endearing charm and a bit more of a grounded story. This goes full Indiana Jones on you with Paddington instead as the lead. It all just felt really weird and out of place, due to these almost mystical puzzles with a bracelet and a stone bear. Antonio Banderas is here, and he's decent, trying to be polite. He's this treasure hunter haunted by the greed of his fellow ancestors, and a strained relationship with his daughter because of this. Also, Olivia Colman is in this film, as the head of these nuns looking after the bears, who almost seems like a parody of Julie Andrews from The Sound of Music. And really, for me personally, this just did not feel like a Paddington movie, after just recently re-watching the other two. For whatever reason, they decided to turn it into some crazy adventurer movie, and it just didn't work for me. And even the twists that they tried to play here were all just really expected. There are some interesting transitions from scene to scene, and the odd little moment with Paddington and Aunt Lucy that gave me that warm feeling. As a Paddington movie though, I just can't recommend it. Paddington in Peru gets a 4 out of 10. Am I crazy and did you enjoy this? Do let us know. And why not check out my review of the first movie, a much better film, just here, and a YouTube recommendation just here.